Taylor Swift's private jet touched down at LAX airport in Los Angeles early on Sunday. Travis Kelsey was seen on the same flight as Swift when they returned from Singapore. She's, uh, she's unbelievable. She's, uh, she's rewriting the history books. Or... Later in the video, we have some romantic insights what the sweet couple did later that day together. Before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss out on any new videos. Swift had just finished her tour in Singapore, where she performed in front of 55,000 fans in the National Stadium for six sold-out shows. Travis Kelsey and his friends were particularly supportive during the last two shows of the tour. Kelsey flew to Singapore to cheer on his girlfriend during her tour. Swift showed her appreciation to Kelsey by doing something special for him. She changed the lyrics of one of her songs during the performances he attended. After being on stage for three hours, Swift hurried to Kelsey. They hugged and kissed, making fans swoon with romance. On Sunday morning, March 10th, they were seen at the airport with friends, including Sabrina Carpenter. Kelsey's buddy Ross shared a video on Instagram of the lovely scenery at the airport. Fans in Singapore saw Kelsey and Swift at the airport's VIP lounge respecting their privacy. Oh, wow. That's what I said when I got down there. Yeah, what? Kelsey joined Swift on her private plane for the trip back home, covering a distance of 9,000 miles over 20 hours. Swift's plane landed at the airport in Los Angeles, where security guards used umbrellas to shield the couple as they headed to their cars. Take a second now to subscribe and like the video to help the channel creating more content for you. It was weird though because this Evermore was the first time I didn't discard. Kelsey's life changed a lot since he started dating Taylor Swift, who's one of the biggest music stars in the world. Before meeting Swift, Kelsey was already well-known, successful, rich, and respected in his job. Asking me what it was like to beat my brother. But Swift's fame and popularity are on a whole other level compared to his. Whenever they're together, the media goes crazy. Kelsey is used to getting attention from the media, but being with a pop superstar takes things to a whole new level. I think just like Taylor, Taylor fans, so they wanted to show their support. Still, he handles it well and understands that most of the attention is because of Swift's fame. This is all because Taylor's the biggest and the best thing possible. After arriving in LA, the couple went straight to Taylor Swift's huge mansion in Beverly Hills. It's one of the fanciest and priciest houses in the world. They were tired from the long flight, so they just chilled out for a bit. In 1934, for Samuel Goldwyn, one of the founders of MGM Studios. I agree, and I'm not offended that you said that. There's a lot going on. Turns out Taylor Swift's cats were in L.A. too. So she got to hang out with them after her super long tour. It must have been nice for her to finally relax and spend time with her furry friends again. Come on, again? I... I put on direct TV now so you wouldn't Travis Kelsey got to see Taylor Swift's cats for the first time and we hope it was a good meeting he had already prepared lots of surprises for them at his mansion in Kansas City Taylor really loves her cats so it was extra special for her to have Travis by her side to share in the excitement of introducing him to her furry pal Benjamin should I put out a Christmas song after spending a while relaxing at the mansion, the couple decided to go out for a bite to eat at a private restaurant nearby. Meanwhile, in town, the Oscars were going on, and there were tons of celebrations like pre-parties and after-parties happening everywhere. That was literally, literally, literally perfect. perfect! It's uncertain whether Taylor Swift will attend any private parties in Los Angeles with her friends. A surprise for us all, Travis released his first movie as a producer. Kelsey was revealed to be an executive producer of a new dark comedy drama, My Dead Friend Zoe. Media Studios, they have a connection to somebody on Travis's team. Which stars Sonequa Martin-Green, Natalie Morales, Ed Harris, Morgan Freeman, and Gloria Rubin. The film was premiered over the weekend at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, but Kelsey was not there to watch it. Travis did for us is just this tidal wave of energy. and Instead, he was halfway across the world, watching girlfriend Taylor Swift playing one of her six dates on her heiress tour in Singapore. And also, new news for all New Heights podcast viewers. New news! New news! I can. 
Travis and Jason Kelsey are taking their new Heights podcast on tour, starting with an April 11th show at the University of Cincinnati's Nippert Stadium, where the brothers played college football. What college football player is it? If you're not, you're, just, you're doing college. The show was announced on Saturday on the Jumbotron for the Cincinnati Bearcats game at Fifth Third Arena, as per a tweet from a reporter covering the Saturday match. So far, it is the only date announced, but given the huge popularity of the podcast, it would be surprising if it was the only one. Nobody parties better than Jason Kelsey. Me too. <laughs> Travis and Jason have previously discussed taking their podcast overseas on the show itself. In a December episode, the brothers discussed have the two best-selling NFL jerseys in Britain. Selling jerseys in the United Kingdom. Nice. And Travis said, we got to get over there, dude. I feel like if this is what's going on in the UK, we got to get a live show over there, dude. This is what's going on in the UK. We, we got to get a live show. Jason replied, you ain't got to talk me into that. I'd be very down for that. Uh, you don't got to talk me into that. I'd be, I'd be really, I'd be very down for that. T comes amid recent reports that the brothers could strike a deal worth an estimated 100 million to keep producing the show, which has surged in popularity after the Kansas City Chiefs star began dating Taylor Swift. Oh, I heard this Kelsey guy dates Taylor Swift, and they just buy my jersey on accident. Companies want Jason and Travis Kelsey's podcast because of the deep relationship they have with their audience. Eric Silva head of development at Multitude, a podcast collective studio and ad sales provider, was quoted as saying by MarketWatch, all the attention isn't just fun for Kelsey. It's game day, baby! <laughs> it's also good for his job. After they kind of went public with their relationship, sales of his jersey shot up, and he even got a hit on the billboard charts because he's become more popular. He's busy with different projects now, like possibly being on TV or making movies, and a big part of that is because he's more famous now. Yeah, Trav, you got the number one best-selling jersey, good to know. Swift made some changes to her tour set, which might mean something special when it's on Disney. Even though the movie already came out in theaters, people are excited for it to be on Disney, not just for the new acoustic songs, but also because there might be more Taylor Swift stuff. Taylor Swift's current tour started in March 2023 and will end in December 2024. My name is Taylor and welcome to the Eras Tour. In this tour, she sings songs from all her albums. It's her most successful tour yet, getting lots of attention. Now, Taylor is changing things up. She's mixing her songs together during performances. This matches up with the release of her tour movie on Disney. Hinting that these mixes might be in it. Also, this change might be because of her new album coming out in April 2024. It seems like her tour is evolving, along with her music. With all these changes happening, it wouldn't be surprising if there's a sequel to her previous tour documentary, Taylor Swift The Eras Tour, in the works. Not sure where that came from. I have no experience in home invasion. What do you think? Is Travis the first man for Taylor Swift that she has a serious relationship with after Joe Alwyn? Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos. We are interested in your opinion, so take a second to write it down. Been in the house, he wanted to kill me. And uh, as a, as a... <laughs> Until then, stay curious, stay creative, and keep exploring. Martial art he and his family did, it was uh, something I was not...